I have tested Horse Kinawa, and this will be my new main Archer March. Let me explain why. Hello everyone, welcome back to another, another video for me, please my name. And today in this video, I want to explain to you why I think everyone should go actually for Horse Kinawa instead of Kinawa Horst or Kinawa Nico or Kinawa Frega. Um, first of all, Horse is a hero which not everyone from us can get, right? He is costing around 370 euros or US dollars. Horse is some uh, uh, is a commander which is not for everyone. But if you have him, especially Waken, bro, if you compare him with Kinawa, the results are actually insane. So let me go through fast uh, what makes Horse so special. Horse is a um, commander which gives you three different buffs on his uh, wage skin. You're getting first of all 20% attack buff, a 30% HP bonus, and on top of that a 10% damage deep bonus, which is already pretty insane. So he's giving you tankiness and he's giving you lots of damage. The second skill is for ready, so that's not something important for open field. The third skill is a little bit interesting. Because when Horse is the primary commander, you're getting a 25% defense bonus. If he is a secondary commander, then he's getting a 40% normal attack damage bonus. And this is why you're also putting Horse as primary. You want to have a 25% defense bonus. Normally, you want to have like normal attack damage on Archer because they're doing physical damage and normal attack damage bonus. You might think now because, you know, Sinion for Ega is meta Archer Mage, uh, Archer March right now. So you would say, which I not just go then for the 40% normal attack buff. I mean, it's also higher than the 25% defense bonus. But the thing about uh, this match is you want to do counter attack damage. Because if you hop over here to this skill from Kinao, you see that she is doing a 30% physical counter attack damage heal bonus. And if you're hopping back to horse, and here we coming now to a point of why you want him to have awakened, he getting a buff where he increase his counter attack crit rate up to 30%. If you now have both commanders awakened, like Kinawa and Horse both awakened, she is doing a lot of uh, uh, skill damage, single target skill damage. Um, having also some other buffs such as normal attack damage uh, bonus, for example, giving you also tankiness because the hero skill damage taken reduction is reduced by 10%. You're having a physical attack bonus by 30%. Uh, like I explained here, physical counter attack damage deep bonus. And on top of that, she's giving also a defense break to the enemy when she is launching normal attack. If you're all putting this together already, Horse Kinawa is looking really, really strong. Especially because Horse giving also, if you put him high as primary, a 25% defense bonus on top. And if you're having all of this in mind, this is already a really strong match. But now is the thing. Now is the thing. Some of you might think, oh, wait, you have a position to you, so you, um, you could technically just go for the position to you, right? And just doing a lot of normal attack damage. No, 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 no. What you want to go for is this talent tree. This talent tree here right there is literally OP, literally. You can easily, without a problem, 1v10, literally. 1v10, no, no problem at all. Like 25 million, 30, 20 million players, which might be actually kind of good already with, T with their T4 matches, right? No problem at all. You easy and tank right away. Easy, no problem. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, this is so stupid. But let me, before I'm gonna show you a clip where I legit do 1 versus 10 with my horse Kinawa, I show you first of all the 10. So what you wanna do is with uh, skills from Horse and Kinawa in your head, what you want to go for is basically a lot of tankiness and a lot of counter attack damage. Because you want to boost the, the natural tankiness which giving, uh, which giving the hero skill to your march away, such as Horse 25% defense bonus, Horse 30% HP bonus, Kinawa hero skill damage taken reduction 10%. So we're gonna go obviously attack here begin and then we're gonna gonna skip the march speed and gonna go for defense because you wanna do as tanky do you wanna be as tanky as possible and then of course the hp also and then here the middle now you go for the position t taking the here the attack and taking egoisman adding another four percent less serious skill damage to the tankiness then you could technically go, go also for all conquering but since 
what you plan to do with Wits March is you want to be as much tanky as possible, but you also want to do as much counter attack damage as possible. Because as we know, the archers have the highest natural counter attack. Plus, Kinawa having a 30% buff, the counter attack here on the bottom is just too good. It's just too good. You cannot miss it out. Really, you cannot miss it out. It's too good. And then you're going to take here the onslaught buff, which is giving you a little bit of a normal attack damage. Buff. Then you go over to overall. You're taking here the HP. And then you're taking here the defense. And well, the skill damage is not really worth because the only skill damage you do is from Kinawa, the active skill. Horse is not doing any skill damage. So that's not really worth. Normal attack damage, uh, also not worth to go for because we have, first of all, here already a 8% buff. And, you know, with, uh, with a 10% chance. So this is also not worth to go. And so you just go for the more Legion capacity. Giving you more Legions, a higher Legion capacity means you're doing more damage. You are more tankier. Then you go for this here. Because this is really, really good. This is like constant, all the time. When your Legion is hit with a normal attack, they gain four, four additional rage. This effect can be triggered once every towards one second. So legit, that means after 10, um, 10 rounds, you're getting 40 rage. Every sec, you're getting one four rage because you're always getting attacked with normal attack damage. Always. You're always going to get attacked with normal attack. Doesn't matter which type of match you're getting attacked with. They're always going to do normal attack. Then you go for strength to strength, giving you 1.5% more damage overall. Then you hop over here to the mid. We do several rounded units in your Legion by 10%, which is really, really powerful. And then you go for a cool barrier, giving you another five percent less hero skill damage. So, we and then you're gonna go here for guys. Uh, when I was rewatching the video, I saw that I made a mistake in the video because I was saying you need to go for the occult barrier. This is bullshit because it's saying magic unit. So obviously the buff is not applying to your march if you're having archer march. So instead, you're going for the middle one here has to retreat giving march speed which is also really good because in case on open field you gonna probably gonna step in forward back and forth uh and the extra march speed which you can get when if you're getting hit with a normal attack might be good because then you can step out faster if you're getting negative trade so instead of a good barrier here you're going for has to retreat because you don't want to miss out the last big point here which is saying when your Legion's unit count is less than 50%, they deal 2% more damage. You don't want to miss that out. That's why you're going until uh, the end of overall tree. So you start switching or code bear with has to retreat and you're totally fine. Has to retreat is also really worth to go for getting mass speed. Archers, having uh, mass speed on archers is always worth to go for. And yeah, sorry for the mistake, guys. And corner with red, when your Legion's unit count is less than 50%, they deal 2% more damage. That means that you... You do this because, as you know, if you like, if you're much getting lower and lower and lower, the damage you do is also getting lower and lower and lower because you're missing the troops. Because, you know, your overall strength is getting reduced by losing troops. Okay? So, the more troops you have in your march, the more damage you do. Because every single unit in your march having HP, defense, attack, and that gaining. Basically, calculate it together, and that's you, uh, that's some damage you're gonna do then. If that is kind of understandable, I hope it's I uh, I hope I explained it um very well. So this talent tree giving you a lot of tankiness, right? Because of the HP uh, bonuses you get, because of the defense bonuses you take, because of the 19% less skill, uh, nine percent less skill skill damage. You're getting also kind of good uh, damage. On top of that, with a on uh, with invisible here with the onslaught buff, you're getting 1.5% more damage overall, and you're getting more uh, counter attack damage bonus added to the ca uh, counter attack damage bonus. What Kinawa is doing, so you're having it's 34 34 counter attack damage uh, percentage on your march, plus then the crit weight from horse wreck, which goes up to 30%. This march. I just show you a clip and then you can like you're gonna see what I'm talking about. So 
So guys, as you have seen, this clip, bro, I legit have destroyed them in the 1v10. So let's have a look on the report. So here's the report, guys. And as you see, I got 34.3k merits. You see, not even one minute, I got 34.3k merits. And just, just look on the rounded troop, guys. 8.4k to 38.3k. 5.2k to 47.7k. 8k to 31k. 10.9k to 11.9k. 3.1k, 30.k. Remember, this is just counterattack damage. The only march which you have saw I have attacked was the eight years. It was the only march I have attacked. Every other march got counterattack damage. It was only counterattack damage. Okay? Just to make it clear, guys 3.1k to 13k, 7.1k to 14.7k, 7.4k to 16.5k, 6.6k to 29.4k. 1.6k uh, to 7k, 5.4k to 20.8k. So, I don't know what to say, but I think this report already shows very well why Horse Kinawa is like the meta or one of the meta archer marches in this game right now. Um, so, the thing is, if you have now not Horse, what you do? If you don't have Horse, what I always can recommend to go for is Kinawa Nico. Kinawa Nico, on top, one of the best Archer Marches you have in the game. They have its really good synergy with both Awakening skill, working perfectly together of them. They're having both a uh, counter attack damage bonus. Uh, uh, skill damage factor is also really good from Nico. But what I also can recommend, Ken, like I said in this uh, video, I'm gonna pop it up on the screen, um, is Proega and with Kinawa. So you want to put Kinawa and behind Proega. Because the thing with Proega is, with her, you're going to do more normal attack damage. So the trading in a, in a, in a murder boss situation or like in an open field situation, really not that good as Kinawa Nico or Horse Kinawa. But, but you're still going to do, um, going to do a good amount of damage. And um, because first of all, the, uh, Normal attack damage bonus, what for Ega gonna give you, but also with a defense bonus. Um, so if you don't have horse, you, there are op other options which you can go for. So make sure to watch the video which I just have popped up. Um, they are gonna explain the uh, tenant build for my Kinawa here, which I still recommend to go for if you don't go for horse Kinawa. Then this is the tenant to uh, tenant tree you need to go for. For for example, Kinawa Nico or Kinawa for Ega. Um, I think Kinawa Gronwin would be also a possibility. I did, I never tested uh, Kinawa Gronwin, but that's so far. Um, I really re can recommend everyone to go for Horse Kinawa. This is really legit, uh, a strong match. Um, the other day when we was having our Zone Five, uh, Zone Four fighting still, um, I and where I have switched it, uh, it was insane because I got one report where I got eight K rounded. And the enemy march got over 100k rounded. Legit. Over 100k rounded. Over one third of his marches was rounded. Just because he had attacked me. I don't, I, I'm not joking. I wish I was having recorded it. But unfortunately, I didn't. I wish I was able to uh, was able to stream it and have showed you how a ridiculous strong horse Kinawa is in the open field fighting. And as you know, many, many players go for horse Kinawa. So it is not bullshit what I'm talking about. And as you have seen, I legit have easily, sure, I have used T5, but I have easily dominated a 1v10. I'm pretty sure I can also do 1v50 and still gonna be, maybe gonna not gonna be 1v50 full positive, but for sure, most of the marches would be positive trading for me. So test it out, guys, if you're Horse Awaken and Kinawa Awaken, even if they are not Awaken. Like, even if you have, if you have high, uh, Horse 5 1 1 and Kinawa Awaken. Or Hina Kinawa uh, 5101. Uh, like, test it. Test it, guys. With the talent uh, bit which I gave you, test it with Horse Kinawa, and you will see how strong that match is. Let me know in the comments what you think about this match, and let me know in the comments also if you have other video um, ideas which you want me to cover about, 
other matches which you want me to cover about let me know in the comments i'm gonna uh would uh, i'm gonna respond to all of your comments guys thanks for your con uh, continued support i really enjoy it and i wish you all a great day or a great night and we're gonna see us on the next one